Hello everyone, this is Gemo Edits and welcome back again for another PowerPoint tutorial video. Today you will learn how to use the hyperlink function of Microsoft PowerPoint, which you can use to make your presentation more exciting and engaging. So I have prepared 6 slides for this tutorial. The first slide consists of 5 icons that will represent the content of this presentation. The second slide is for the introduction, then goals for the third slide, the topic for the fourth slide, the examples for the fifth, and the analysis for the last slide. This tutorial will focus only on using a hyperlink from slide to slide. In this video, I will show you the three methods on how you can add hyperlinks between slides from the same file in Microsoft PowerPoint. The first method is by selecting the element to which you want to add a hyperlink. Let's try this introduction icon first, then under the insert tab, we will click the link function. You will see four tabs in the dialog box that appears the existing file or web page option, the place in this document option, and these two options below. In this tutorial, we will just use the second option or the place in this document option. Then you will be given a choice on which slide you want to land or direct us whenever you click that icon. You can choose the first, last, and next or select a particular slide from the presentation. Since this icon represents the introduction part, I will select the slide corresponding to the introduction slide, which is the slide 2. We can also add a hyperlink function to text using the same method. Let us see the preview so far. So whenever we click this icon and text, it will automatically go to the slide 2 or the introduction slide. Now for the second icon and text, we will use the second method by right-clicking the element we want to hyperlink and then click the hyperlink function. Same as we did earlier, we will select our desired slide which in this case will be the third slide or the gold slide. We will also add a hyperlink to the text title under this icon. If ever you want to change the hyperlink settings, just right-click the element again and select the edit link option. Now for our third icon, we will use the third method by using a keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus K. Just select the element and hit Ctrl plus K from your keyboard. Then you can customize your hyperlink in the dialog box. The same thing for the text, we will use the keyboard shortcut function. For the remaining icons, you can decide which method you will use in customizing your hyperlinks since the logic and flow for this function are the same. Now for the slides below, I placed a home icon in each slide which we can use as our key to go back to the first slide so the flow of our presentation will be smooth and engaging as well. So we will click this home icon, then add a hyperlink that will direct us back to our home slide which is the first slide. Do the same thing for the remaining slides below. After doing that, we can add transitions between each slide. In this presentation, let's try to add the zoom transition in the first slide and change the effect options to out. Then for the remaining slides below, we can select them all at once and then apply the same transition but this time we will retain the effect options to in so it will be the opposite direction of our transition in the first slide. So that's it for this tutorial and here is the final output for this presentation. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.